It's Dino from DigiSpin Crypto. Now, I'm welcoming you to tonight. Obviously, we had an exciting day today, so we wanted to talk about those things. Keep in mind, I'm just some goofy guy in a straw hat mumbling at the screen on YouTube. It's not financial advice. Take what you learn here. Do something fun and exciting with it. Uh, make some good decisions. Now, if you like this content, it's always good to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe is good, and if you hit the notification bell, you'll get notified when we go live or not put out a new video. So, you want to make sure you do that. So, tonight we're going to talk about how Bitcoin and altcoins like Dash and XRP and all these others have some serious competition, and how Electronium is that competition. And let's talk about it, and I'm going to tell you why. And keep in mind this is just some first steps never mind where they're going to be taking this into the future so we got triple uh, x out there and we have about uh, a whole bunch of a dozen or so folks who are already connected up we'll let you guys uh, continue to connect but we're gonna start off if you have any questions drop them in the chat and we'll go from there. So, hey, hey, Texas. Good to see you, Texas Toast. <laughs> we got Northeast Texas Technologies in the chat there also. Now, Northeast, he's a great uh, channel for educational information. He uh, created a, a video on uh, on the wallet and how to uh, execute and use the wallet. So if you want to learn how to use the CLI, Command Line Interface Wallet, go over to Northeast Texas Technologies 
and you'll be able to uh, watch his uh, pro video series that goes through all of the information. So let's get started. So what we wanted to talk about is all of the excitement that has come up. I'm gonna bring up a little thing behind me. Let's bring up the chat. Let's see here. And we'll send that right up there and up to the screen. There we go. Hi, Dino Northeast. Okay, good. So uh, any of the chats that come up, we'll put it right up on the screen and uh, we can answer those things. Now, a couple days ago, you know, we had stumbled across a video that we thought was released and uh, we, you know, I talked about it and, and some of the things that we were discussing in that video, um, I had to, uh, as a courtesy, I pulled it down because they needed to uh, do an official launch of the information. And there was things that I had guessed at that actually came in pretty close uh, to what actually happened. So let's discuss what happened. And let's discuss what's, what the, the value of Electronium is today. You, you go across and you see people making fun of Electronium. And I think that the, it'll be real tough for them to do that these days. So first we got Electronium uh, being invited. Chris Gorman, Dr. Chris Gorman got invited to be included on the intelligence board for the GSMA. And I have a video about that, uh, maybe one or two videos prior, that goes through all the goodies of why it's important uh, and how that's gonna help bring some gravitas to Electronium and also bring the world of cryptocurrency to the GSMA and all the membership there and the folks that visit and attend the show. So check out that video, you'll be able to see that. I'll see if I can drop it in a card, maybe over here. I think it end up over here. Uh, if not, uh, just check a look at the video itself. Now, a couple of things we want to talk about is Electronium themselves released today a couple of major steps. And these major steps are definitely going to bring some light to it. I've already seen on Yahoo Finance, I've seen articles uh, all over uh, the internet. And we can take a look if you just type in uh, Electronium M1 phone, you'll start to see everything from the business wire, decrypt media, crypto vibes. It's pretty much all over. I saw it on Yahoo Business and it's some phenomenal stuff. Now, what exactly did Electronium do? So, number one, Electronium released the M1 smartphone. Now, keep in mind, it's not a flagship phone. It's designed for the audience that needs it and uh, growing econo economies and where there's not a whole lot of money to spend, but an $80 range is possible for those folks. Now, keep in mind, you can run Electronium, the Electronium app on any Apple or uh, Samsung or Android based phone by going to the appropriate Play Store, downloading it, you know, setting yourself up an account and uh, going into the mobile mining, follow the instructions and you can run the Electronium cloud mining service. This allows you to earn uh, Electronium throughout the day and it adds up when it hits 100 uh, Electronium they pay it out and it'll go to your mobile wallet. But what they also provided here now is the M1 mobile phone. This is an Electronium branded phone with the app built in. Now the funny thing about it is, is in the video that I took down, I discussed this. Let's take a look at what I said not just two days ago. Sure hope you do have your Electronium. I don't give any financial advice, but I can see the future being um, pretty awesome going forward. And these virtual mobile providers, I would tend to think, would promote... Electronium, maybe include 
the app on their phone? I I don't know. I would tend to think that they want to entice. You know, you hear about Samsung adding a um, a Bitcoin wallet or a crypto. They don't even want to call it Bitcoin. They don't even call it crypto. They call it a blockchain wallet uh, to their phones. You would tend to think. There we go. That the mobile providers that are going to be involved are going to be promoting and uh, uh, pushing uh, the app out um, to uh, the folks that are using their phones. And, uh, you know, uh, a journey of a thousand miles starts with a first step. And I think that's what we're starting to see here. So, so basically... You know, as we were looking at the, the possibilities of what was going to happen at the Mobile World Conference, uh, you know, I said, geez, you know, if they're going to start adding virtual mobile providers to the top up section and you're going to have folks, which they did, the Unlimited based out of South Africa and the Unlimited uh, has a, a whole host of products and one of them is phone services. And uh, if you go to the mobile miner right now, right today, you can bring it up and you will see, uh, if you go to the top up section, you'll see the unlimited and then they have different packages that you can apply your electronium. So somebody that goes out, buys the M1 or has a phone and has the app installed uh, can earn that money, earn those uh, cryptos and you'll see them in their wallet and they'll be like all right and they can go to the top up section and then apply whatever electronium and directly receive airtime they don't have to sell it to buy airtime they can directly from their phone that they were mining or have earned through bartering or purchasing or providing services or mine using the cloud mining service buy and top up their phone with minutes right off the electronium app so there's no purchasing there's no nothing it's transparent to the user they have an instant instant solution that's that's bringing ease of use you know you, you hear all these guys and they talk about well you know it's got to be easy it's got to be functional you know, there's got to be a use case. It's got to be transparent where you don't have to go through the exchanges. There it is, guys. Electronium first to make this happen. Right from the app. Go right to the mobile provider. Pick the package you want. Pay for it right with your Electronium app. With Electronium, you're in your minutes or your data plan is now upgraded and those do arrive. Not only that, uh, they're giving you twice the amount of air time or data time. Uh, the Unlimited's given a, a great solution there. This is, an, this is a first, and it, you, can't, you, you, you can't not put this all together to understand that obviously this is the first one. I'm going to let this run for a little while, make sure it's all working good because it's a, a smaller mobile provider. But once it's up and running, you're going to start to see the other multiple, mobile providers being added to the top up system. All right. And you never know, this could end up being across a whole host of phones and services. And once these smaller providers start showing how it's working how they're getting generation of of, uh, of service people are using the electronium they're purchasing themselves an m1 phone so it has the electronium on the back or using their existing phone now i'm gonna get one of these phones come crook or high water i'm gonna locate one if i have to find it from electronium or buy it from south africa or wherever i gotta get it but eventually i will i will reel in one of these things so we can do a review on it play with it and uh, have some fun so it'll be an, an awesome thing this is big stuff this is big stuff don't let anybody fool you don't let anybody tell you otherwise 
Nothing like this has been done before and at a seamless level. Everything's kind of been hodgepodge and clued together and, and you know, a little bubble gum and some, some masking tape. This here is a highly polished product that truly brings ease of use right 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 to the user there's just there's no effort you load the phone activate your mobile mining your cloud mining you check in once a week make sure your cloud miner is working the electronium shows up you get the 100 electronium 200 electronium you cash them in you buy yourself some minutes nobody's done anything like this nobody will for a while electronium is doing what everybody else is talking about. Everybody's just mumbling and yapping at the mouth, talking about how they're gonna be able to, to transfer. And keep in mind, Electronium already has instant payment. You can go right on there, and we're gonna show you the instant payment. You stick stick with us. I'm gonna show you the instant payment in action. Electronium's had instant payment for months. You go right up, you click on it, you scan the barcode. Boop. One, two, Boom, items paid for. They have the, the API, so you can integrate it into websites and the, and the point of sale system. So it already exists. They've been doing this already. They're talking about it, lightning wet work, all this. Now, I'm a big Bitcoin guy, but I'm gonna tell you something. This thing is already working. It's running. It's executing. You got generation, you can earn your electronium. Now, if you have an ASIC, you can run an ASIC and earn some electronium that way by mining it off the blockchain. You can use the cloud miner on your cell phone. You're gonna see the gig economy light up next, where they're gonna have a gig economy website. So some like a Fiverr, so somebody can put a service on there in a developing country. Hey, you know, we'll do a video for you or you get the what the 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 guy who dresses up is Jesus, and for five bucks he'll do a quick video. He gets paid. He'll be able to get paid electronium, cash it out, transfer it. You can you can move obviously electronium person to person really easy. You can be in the KYC environment, the fully registered environment where you're KYC compliant anti-money laundering where you can take advantage of all this or you can run a CLI wallet or a paper wallet or an exchange and be outside the KYC you have you have it where you can be compliant and in the system and take advantage of all these amazing features or you can go peer-to-peer -peer and don't go in the KYC it, it offers both but with the KYC compliancy, there's going to be a lot more that's going to be coming along. So we got we got a brand new phone. We got the Electronium on the GSMA GSMA intelligence board. We have uh, our first vendor in place. This today, uh, mark my words. Uh, Mark my words, today is a turning point where things start to, to change as far as we have 2.7 million registered, individually registered and KYC compliant users. All right, nobody else can say that. And today's a turning point where that 2.7 is going to start to roll. Now this, you know, could take all year to, 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 to get things going. But today is the turning point where things are going to start to roll into big, big numbers. You're going to have folks getting a phone with the app installed. You're going to have folks being able to download it. You're going to have folks that want to trade minutes. They use these minutes as, as they use these minutes as money in some of these countries. They pay for stuff with phone minutes. It's because it's easy. They can transfer. They don't need a bank. Now they got also electronium. It's a turning point, guys. No other cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, XRP, Dash, none of them 
are doing what this is doing. And I'm going to tell you something. It's undervalued in my personal opinion. And you're going to see a lot of these electronium coins that are out there in surplus disappear. And over the period ahead, it's my opinion that uh, it's going to be hard to find them. And I would tend to think you would pay more for something that's hard to find. Just my personal opinion. Let's take a quick look. I'm going to get into some of this other good stuff here. Let's take a look and see what's going on in the chat. Oh, uh, boy. You guys got lots of stuff out here. <clears throat> <laughs> All right, so we got, uh, let's go back to the first page. I got uh, Michael out there. I got, uh... oh, yeah, our live stream. Texas, <laughs> let's put this up first. So Texas, Northeast Texas is saying, hey, Dito, don't forget, don't forget to, to plug our live stream tomorrow night. So this is what's going on. Northeast Texas had a great idea, and his idea was basically, Dino, let's get all of the YouTubers together, or as many as we can corral together, and let's do a live stream. So, as of right now, it's tentative for 8 o'clock uh, Eastern, Eastern Standard Time, if I'm not mistaken. I may be wrong. I don't know if that's Texas time. Maybe you can put it up there, uh, Northeast. Uh, but I believe he said 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And... Uh, hopefully we'll have five or six folks and we can talk a little bit further about this and discuss it in a round table so that would be pretty exciting uh, look for that um, uh, hoping to have four or five of the uh, youtubers on there maybe even some other guests and uh, that should be fun and I'm hoping that all goes through and uh, it'll be something that uh, you won't want to miss uh, as we go forward okay and we got Michael out there. Mike saying, hey, good evening, you know, it's good to see you. Uh, let's go back to my other, my other section here. Um, okay, Mike saying, uh, he goes, hey, look, I know we do not talk about price, but I'm 100% all about Electronium. But what's up with the price? Is someone holding it down somehow? It's my belief, and I talked about this in a video a few days ago. It's my belief. Um, you have some... Most of the miners that are out there are corporate miners. Uh, you, you know, you got ding, ding dongs like me. I, I got my one ASIC, and I'm, you know, I'm mining away my electronium. I get my 500 electronium a day um, from the device. But there are folks out there, the, the companies... Uh, that are running uh, large quantities of either FPGAs or ASICs. And um, with that, uh, they comes bills and all sorts of other stuff and techniques to mining. And I, I had a uh, video a couple of days past about the F2 pool and how they're maximizing their mining profits. You might want to check that out if you want to know more. So... Yes, when you have corporate or businesses, they have a tendency of not holding their bags of ETN. They have to release so many. So that definitely uh, keeps a flow. And keep in mind, Electronium uh, relatively new. The emission curve is, is still pretty high. Uh, you're still looking at, what, 8,000? Let's bring it up real quick and I can tell you. So you do some basic math here. We go to Crypt Unit, right? And what we're going to do is we're going to go down to uh, Electronium. See a little bit. Here we go, Electronium. So let's get the details on Electronium. And if we look at the reward, you can see currently there's 8,399. So let's call it 8,400 Electronium. So let's uh, get our calculator here. All right, now... According to Electronium, we have 8,400 every block. A block on the average is every two minutes. All right. So let's calculate this out. We got we got uh, two minutes, and in, in an hour that gives us 
uh, 30 two minute blocks. So we got 30 and we'll times that out times 24. So there's 720 blocks a day times the 8,400. So there's 6 million electronium produced each and every day. Now that number goes down a little bit every day, but being that electronium is still relatively new, the emission curve is still pretty high. It hasn't worked its way down. That's why you're mining them now is most important. So you have six million. So if you figure the folks that are corporately mining these things, you're looking at a minimum of 50, 60 percent of those coins. I would even go as high as 70 percent of those coins. Uh, so you figure 70 percent of those coins are going to be liquidated people like me hold on to them so you're looking at about 4.2 million coins each and every day that have to have to be distributed out there um, and sold and that's a pretty big number that's a pretty big number the um, amazing part is that they're sold all right, but um, it does have a tendency to help hold the price down a little, a little bit because uh, there's no doubt that's that's a that's a chunk of coins, a chunk of coins. So, but as demand picks up, you got people using the phone. They want to get the electronium. They start to not only earn it, but they're they're using it for services. So somebody's got to get a hold of the electronium to provide it to the service. You're going to see a lot of interaction that's not just happening on exchanges. It's happening in the, the ecosystem. Uh, and it's, I'm not sure if it's recorded. I guess Electronium would have most of that information as they go along. So I don't know if that answered your question, but that's the best way I could go about giving you that data. Okay. Um, let's see what else we got here. Yeah, I'm sure that the Electronium's price will pop a little. There's, there's no doubt that uh, there'll be some feedback um, regarding it. And, you know, what's going to end up happening with the price of Electronium, it's just going to steadily grow as the, um, as, the, as the coins are used and they're circulating um, internally. And it's going to suck up more into this whirlwind of, uh, of interaction and uh, more and more will be brought in and that will raise the price so this is not something I I, I, I don't see it you know jumping 50 cents um, but I, I believe that it'll be a, a nice incline don't get me wrong Bitcoin goes up everything goes up all right so um, so you're gonna have some price jumps here and there but it's gonna be a, a progression as it goes along all right, and, and, and when I say go along, I mean over the next year to four years. Okay. Um, let's see here. XX is telling me something. He's saying, hey, Dino, Electronium's top-up feature allows users to submit applications to add their mobile phone providers uh, on their services, to, to add their mobile phones on their services. Check it out. Yeah, I saw, I saw some. I mean, obviously, some of the mobile providers would like you to move their phone number, your phone number to them, uh, which you could do. And you know, obviously, since they're the first ones out there, there may be people that want to um, do that. I'll take a look through the top up feature. I didn't see uh, submitting an application, but I, uh, I may have missed that part. So I'll, I'll look into that and see what I can come up with. Uh, yeah, and here's Double X. Double X is saying, "Hey, I believe the price is stagnant because Cryptopia is down, and they represented a big chunk." And yeah, that that's going to go elsewhere. The other problem is is that you have a, a possibly a good chunk of Electronium that's tied up in the Cryptopia situation, and it's going to take a while to for it to be released if it wasn't taken um i'm not sure we've gotten any feedback on that i would 
tend to think that they went for the big stuff first but uh, we won't know until that's all been narrowed down you know and I feel bad for everybody that that got caught up in cryptopia's situation it's um it's sad uh, but it's also very important to always remember and, and learn a lot of us weren't around when um, Mount Gox went and there was a lot of people who got so upset that they left crypto for many years and didn't come back for a while and you know you got quadrangle quadrax up in Canada you got um, this and there was another one like South Korea another Korean site that went bankrupt the other, the other day um we got the bit something um, they uh, they went bankrupt so you know it's um it's important to keep your keep your electronic on um, your mobile wallet <laughs> or on the paper wallet uh not on an exchange you know you buy them get them off when you want to sell them put them on or keep a minimal amount there that won't hurt you in case something should happen uh, God forbid. All right. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, so we got uh, a couple of guys that we're talking about. Uh, <laughs> Kenga wants to know how the Mobile World Congress is going. Uh, I think M Kid was planning to go out there. I'm not sure if he had a chance to make it. Uh, I guess he's saying it's pretty awesome. Let's see what else we got here. Okay, so the Alexa is saying, hey, Dino, Electronium provides a link to acquire an unlimited SIM card on the app. That I saw, and I saw that, you know, they'll send you a free SIM card, and I did see the unlimited have the ability to ship it worldwide, because they asked, are you in South Africa or are you worldwide? I didn't get a chance to press uh, worldwide, but I would tend to think that uh, folks that... Um, uh, are in the states or the western countries would be able and using prepaid services uh, would be able to put in their sim card and run it now uh, m systems has been doing a lot of amazing stuff and obviously had uh, had the skinny and uh, helped out making some of the videos and he was mentioning that it does work with at and t and there was one other. I was. I don't think it was Verizon. It was another uh, cell provider uh, that it worked with, and that uh, you you can pop in. Now you can use. It's unlocked, so you can use a regular SIM card just uh, from AT and T right here, but you won't have the top up capabilities uh, if you go with AT and T. Uh, you would have to use. Um, the virtual mobile provider that's uh, that are that's on the list but let's take a look i saw m kid i mean geez let's go back i saw m systems and he made some videos uh regarding the phone Give a big hand to um, M Systems. 
that's just dynamite. I know he has three others um, that he put together, or it appears to be him that put the, these together. Uh, let's go. Oh. So um, it's just phenomenal stuff. I appreciate you letting me use the video and uh, show it to everybody. But uh, you can search them out. There are um, there are three. I think there are three to four different videos about the M1 phone. Just fantastic. Just fantastic. All right. <laughs> Duncan says, I didn't get a chance to, to watch you, Dino, but I am able to listen to you while I'm at work. I think the, Duncan, I think the, well, no, it wasn't Duncan who delivers the packages. I'm not sure what Duncan's doing, but I'm glad he's able to listen. All right. So here's a good question. So Michael goes, okay, so how are the mobile operators going to look at this? How are they going to trust the exchanges to cash in their coins if uh, they're having, uh, if, they, if some of the exchanges are getting hacked? Okay, so you know, a mobile operator is going to use um, an exchange like Liquid. Um, they're going to use the, the higher end types of exchanges that have high end security. It doesn't mean that they can't be hacked. But that's the direction that they're going to go. Additionally, um, they may save some of those coins and they may pocket them um, for future growth. Because if these exchange, if these mobile providers are bringing in all these coins, they may keep, now keep in mind, a little dirty secret, um, phone services, the profit margin on that stuff is just immense. I'm in the wrong business. I should have did mobile mobile phones. But the fact of the matter is, it's immense. So they could literally cash out 25% of their electronium, um, make a profit, pay for their stuff, and they can keep 70%, 75% of it in little bags. And if they're scrolling these away, they're pulling them out of the ecosystem, the ecosystem and that makes them obviously harder to come by. Who knows exactly what they're going to do with them. But if they put them onto exchanges like Liquid, they'll be able to change them over into different types of fiats um, and move that money around. Quite frankly, it may get to a point where they'll give away some free electronium. They may come to a point where they're able to purchase the services that they need with electronium. Because... It may go back and forth. If they're virtual provider, they've got to pay for the network from the main network providers. And if they start accepting, let's say a virtual mobile provider A uses the AT&T infrastructure and they pay and they lease to have so much bandwidth or throughput on their systems. Those virtual providers, they don't actually own any hardware. They don't own any transmitters. They lease or purchase through a contract to get that uh, to get that information through. So, you know, if if the main provider ends up taking electronium, well, who knows? They may accept electronium as payment. So, don't kid yourself. There's going to be as this stuff starts to progress, um, you're going to see a, a cycle. All right. <laughs> Hey, I got that crypto. If you guys ever get a chance, you want to go to I got that crypto. Uh, he's on uh, he's on uh, YouTube, and uh, he got some some pretty neat stuff. If you go to YouTube, I got that crypto. He's got this talking head guy, a talking puppet, and um, and he has some interesting content. It's always fun to watch. Let's see if I can find that. I got that crypto. I can't seem to find them. Aww. He's got this talking puppet head. It's a digital puppet head. And uh, it's a lot of fun. He has some uh, unique content. And uh, it's, it's usually short and easy to, to, to digest. I usually see his. You'll see his little puppet head on there. And it's animated to what he's doing and what he's producing unfortunately i can't seem to find it but if you get a chance uh, i got that crypto uh, check it out it's got a nice site um well worth to 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 spend a few minutes 
and subscribe. Give them a little love. All right. Kanga, good to see you out there, Kanga. He goes, the ATF phone is so awesome. I'm so stoked for Electronium to make this happen. Yeah, you know, it, it, it was definitely a... Um, as I started off with this video, it was definitely something that I saw as a next possibility installing the app and, and what have you. They took, Electronium took it even further and branded OEM their own their own phone. So kudos to them, hat tip, because, um, you know, even not, for me, that would have been a big stretch to, to come up with. So as far as uh, them pulling that off. So congratulations to them. And it's a nice style of marketing to get the Electronium name out. Now it's going to be in these phone stores. Hey, get yourself the Electronium phone. You can earn the Electronium on it and everything. It's 80 bucks. Move along. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. These guys are on the top of their game. You're, well, a lot of these other cryptocurrencies started off with some youngsters and they're, they, they know the tech. They can put together a blockchain. But these guys at Electronium, these guys are seasoned business builders. And not only do they know how to take a product. Now keep in mind, Electronium isn't out there designing the most amazing blockchain that does interstellar communications or nanotechnology interfaces, nor does the, the quantum physics. It, Electronium is a good basic blockchain. And these professionals... These professional builders, business builders, Chris Gorman, uh, Richard Ells, and, and the team that's with them. These guys take a good building, functioning, working blockchain, and they turned it into a product. They're not offering you a blockchain and cryptocurrency. They're offering you a product called Electronium that has a complete life cycle, an instant payment capability, way to earn it. A way to use it in the gig economy, a way to spend it on your phone, since you're using the darn thing anyway. They're creating a product called Electronium. They're they're on another level. These other these other cryptos, and I have a lot of cryptos, and I like my other cryptos. I'm gonna tell you, I, I love my other cryptos. I have a lot of fun with them. I follow them. I help them out. I enjoy collecting them. Electronium's on another level. They're just these guys. These guys know what they're doing. All right. <laughs> Can't get things. I'm an Electronium maximalist. Love your work. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. You gotta. You gotta own some Bitcoin. I mine lots of, uh, I, I like BitTube, you know, I, I mine some of the Ethereum Classic because it pays well at the moment, you know, but my uh, my Electronium, for some reason, is just near and dear to my heart and I can't explain it. I, I, I do Web Dollar, Veris Coin, I do, uh, what else do I got out there? I have, I have a few others that I, that, I, that I mine, but there's nothing like this Electronium. These guys are doing this these are seasoned business professionals not not young guys that are tech savvy but don't know how to apply it in the real world and they're taking the the product and making something out of it that's going to have some staying power that's going to have contracts behind it don't forget i mean they own the patent to the darn thing i mean every step they've taken just keeps adding to the power and performance of Electronium. So yeah, I'm, I, I guess I am, I'm a true believer on Electronium. I, and whatever the price is, it, it, it doesn't matter, the product is good. You know, if, if, even if it stayed at 10 cents, it still would be useful and working. And you know, it, it, it's a great product. It's, I, you know, when I, I see a good product, I know, it's, I know a good product when I see it. It's right there. All right. Yeah, the, the good thing is um, Sergeant Marine said Electron didn't spend a dime on the production. Um, I, I'm, there's no doubt they had to put some money up. Now, 
they're not putting up money for research and development. They're not putting up money. They they found a good phone from a, a reputable company that produced it. They had it OEM'd with their brand. And so there's some upfront costs to that. I, I've, I've done this in the past where I'll 3D filament for 3D printers or what have you. I'll have it OEM'd in my name. And yeah, I don't have to go through all the details to have it manufactured and all this other stuff. But I still got to pay for the item. Uh, and you still have to pay for the, uh, the phones when they come in. And, um, and then obviously you can sell them and distribute it from there. But the nice thing is, is that a lot of these OEMs, believe it or not, you sometimes can get away with uh, small amounts of 100 phones to get started that you can OEM. And then as they sell, you can buy in larger quantities and, uh, and obviously get better pricing. So I'm sure as they sell, they'll be able to um, feel more confident and order larger um, production runs. So, yeah, it's it's a smart thing to do. I've 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 been in that arena and I've partaked in that type of business. All right, I got that crypto. He said, "Yeah, it it does feel good." I agree with you 100. percent Feels good to be a part of history in the making today. Definitely. Um, a big day. I give Electron a big round of applause. There's uh, no doubt about it. All right. Hey, we got a Rick Viper Moto out there. That's great stuff. Okay. Let's see what else we got out here. All right. I'm going to go to one of the other things that I thought was pretty exciting. This here. This is an Internet of Things. It's an enabled candy machine. Now, in the beginning of the uh, of the broadcast, I told you I was going to show you some of the instant payment, and so I want you to see this in action. Basically, they have a candy machine. Guy's going to be able to walk up to the candy machine, scan in the barcode, press pay, and in a few seconds, it'll go through the internet. It'll get transmitted uh, down to the candy machine, which is hooked up via a uh, SIM card. Uh, get notification, and then it'll dispense the goodies. And this is uh, really super. Hi, everybody. Uh, I'm standing here with, uh, with Mike from M Systems. He's over from the States. Uh, so we're going to try out our Internet of Things candy machine with, uh, with really TN, with Mike with his phone. It's our first take. Who knows what's going to happen? Let's this find out. Hopefully it works smoothly. So this is connected to the internet via nothing but a GSM card. So this, this machine is plugged in for, for power, but it's not wired in any way. This is talking to the internet on a, on a SIM card, and we're gonna do a push notification from the app on instant payment. We should dispense candy from scanning the QR code. Let's find out. Okay, so I'm gonna scan. Secret passcode to the secret passcode. Keep your eye on this. Let's find out. Yay! There it is. <laughs> That's instant uh, payment. I love that. Uh, there you go. So this is. Uh, That's instant payment. He scanned it. The purchasing price, the QR code. He put in his value for his pin. Press pay. In a matter of two or three seconds. The instant payment went up to the Electronium network, authorized, sent the authorization down to the candy machine. He's probably running a little Raspberry Pi with a, uh, a cell card. The Raspberry Pi is uh, looking for the response code from the API. It gets it, dispenses the candy into the box for the person. This is a perfect example of the instant payment. It was that fast. It transmitted and moved the electronium to whoever was the provider of the candy and the machine dispensed it. And you're going to start to see more and more of these types of solutions come across. And 
A big, uh, big set of applause for uh, for uh, Mike. This has been uh, built by um, a brilliant guy down in Southern called, called Vernon. He's a genius. He can make internet things happen with anything. And this is a proof of concept to show just how easy it is to integrate electronium with the real world. And instant, you saw it. It's instant pay. That's what instant payment can do with crypto. So there you go. You heard it here first. Payment complete and onto the blockchain. So it's amazing stuff and you should take it seriously. If you guys are, are Bitcoin guys and XRP guys, you need to take a look at this. You need to understand that Electronium could be another awesome, awesome coin to add to your collection. It's not better than Bitcoin or better than XRP. But it does have a full cycle. It does have everything necessary. What everybody's calling for, it already has. And you may want to look, and you may want to add Electronium to your collection. Because it's going places, in my personal, unabridged opinion. Right there, Mr. Bean? Yeah. Well, Mr. Bean knows. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we got here. All right, so Michael goes, hey, Dino, did you find out who the special guest is? And no, I did not find out who the special guest is. The show is a few days. I would assume the there's going to be um, there's going to be uh, some presentations. It's usually what happens. And uh, I would expect that special guest to be there. I have some guesses. And the only reason why I'm guessing is because Richard said that he wanted to have somebody come and talk that knows the product. Maybe so I'm thinking, you know, people that uh, have worked on the product. I'm thinking people that are currently mobile providers. So I'm thinking maybe a mobile provider that's already enlisted might co show up and talk about the wonderful experience and how it can bring value to them too. Um, I don't know. M Systems is there. Maybe he's going to talk. <laughs> what do I know? I don't know anything. I'm just a goofy guy in a straw hat. <laughs> mm. um, let's see what else we got here. Uh, so iCrypto says he thinks there's, there's not enough velocity in Electronium to break the current bear market. Uh, the market needs to switch into bull mode. And you're, you're right on you're right on track there, Mister. I got Mister. I got saying, you know, Electronium could be at the show handing out little gold ingots and hand polishing each and every one of them and handing them out to people, and it probably wouldn't raise the price significantly at all. The trick is, is you want to be just a little bit ahead of Bitcoin because Bitcoin pretty much as the granddaddy uh, controls things. Now, as we start to get more and more exchanges that are doing fiat pairing directly with Electronium and other cryptocurrencies, that'll start to make value um, besides Bitcoin. But Bitcoin is going to call the shots for quite a while. So there's no doubt about that. All right. <laughs> Sergeant Marines is going, today was the first day and the last day of, of, of the last day of Bitcoin. Um, uh, yeah, Bitcoin's always going to be around. It's it's so solid. The There's just so much hash power on it. It's hard to... to to steal from it, it would be, um, it really is a very robust and durable and simplistic system. And when I mean simplistic, it, 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 its job is a store of value and it hasn't altered from that. It's not allowing other nonsense to get into the blockchain. It's not programming itself so that people can screw with it. It's a robust strong healthy environment and uh, when you start putting billions of dollars 
um, into a crypto, you want to make sure it's going to be something that is as bulletproof as possible. And uh, as Electronium becomes more and more requested, more and more sought after, you're going to see more miners get placed on the environment. Um, and that, and it's my belief that that will help also raise the price because if you've got more miners and they earn a little bit less, it also helps raise the price and also uh, strengthens um, the environment. And uh, you'll start to see that happen over the years ahead. All right. Let's see what else we got here. I think we got everybody's questions. Unless I'm missing a page. Oh, geez, you guys have all these pages. Oh, my gosh. All right. Hey, we got Paul out there. Good to see you, Paul. And uh, he's, uh, he's impressed with my thinking cap. <laughs> he goes, uh, Dino, I'm glad to see you got that thinking cap on there. I, what it is, I keep all the answers in the inside the hat so I, I could take a look <laughs> and cough them up. All right. Hey, Debo's out there. Yeah, so Debo is saying, I hope the manufacturer can uh, can handle the volume of those eighty dollar phones. They'll sell like hotcakes. And, uh, I have a feeling that I mean that's a very very attractive price point. Uh, obviously, if if they are struggling too much, they wouldn't be able to afford the eighty, but they would be able to still put the app on their existing phone. Uh, those that are in the middle will easily be able to purchase that $80 phone. It, I think you can scoop up a lot of the market potential um, with an $80 price retail price tag. And the product based on the specs are reasonable. By today's Western standards, it's a few years behind, but it's still a good solid product. And um, and as a, um, a phone, because these guys aren't playing massive video games and stuff, they're they're using it for communications, phones, and for money. Um, it'll be a wonderful solution for them. Yeah, I'm I'm hoping. I heard uh, I heard Paul was going to buy ten of them himself. So uh, we'll have to see. <laughs> um, let's see what else we got here. Uh, so crypto man's working on a proof of concept example using Litecoin. So good, good uh, with the dispenser. There you go. Litecoin will be able to do that. Um, maybe if you set it up with the Lightning, because that's the only thing that'll compete at speed levels that the Electronium is doing with their instant payment. Um, yeah, the cloud miner is definitely back to one hundred and twenty uh, thousand. And uh, I saw it raise over the last couple of weeks, so it's good to good to see people are jumping back in and uh, and getting it all together. So we got our star out there. Our star says, "Hey, Dino, I wanted to say hello from Trinidad in the Caribbean." So um, normally I would say, "Oh, I love the palm trees and all that stuff," but we have palm trees where I'm at. <laughs> but Trinidad, Trinidad and Tobago, that uh, those those two uh, those two four places are. Um, are uh, real nice and uh, beautiful locations. Okay. Uh, what else we got there? Uh, 410. Oh my gosh, M Kid's at 410. He's got to go to get some sleep. Good. All right, go knock yourself out, get some sleep. Phoenix Rising says, Hey, Dan, I just want to let you know I've been out on the beach in the sun all day, so uh, I'm doing just fine. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Yeah, Dino, I wanted to ask you, did uh, did you get a new camera or something? Because your color looks really good. <laughs> yeah, I went in there and I started playing with the color because I got a green screen behind me. And um, I painted it directly on the wall. So if I get really close to the wall, it, like I start turning green, you know, around the edges because it starts to reflect the color. The lighting starts to reflect the, the green on me. So I started goofing with the color and adding some blue and red. And and this is what I came up with. <laughs> so, uh, objects in the video may be uh, not as uh, handsome as they look in, in real life. 
Uh, yeah, I definitely give a shout out to uh, M Systems too. Um, it's great stuff that he does for the community. We do appreciate each uh, each video and each uh, article that he writes. Um, the guy's uh, real dedicated to the community, so uh, congratulations to him. Absolutely. All right, let's see what else we got here. I got um, we did the uh, electronium video. We did the phone. Uh, that was the, de the decrypt and all of the good stuff here. I think we've hit a lot of good stuff. We've probably uh, been yapping for a while. So I probably cut my losses. Let me just make sure I, I don't have any other quick questions. Um, Kanga, I do not know if he was curious to know if the phone has NFC. I do not know that. Um, I don't, I don't have that information. But as soon as I can get my hands on one, I'm sure there's a couple of YouTubers. We're all, we're all uh, typing away to Electronium and we're trying to uh, get a block order together so that we can each get one to play around with and show it to everybody. Um, I probably, Mick will have the advantage, the home court advantage being that he's already in uh, the UK. But uh, we'll, uh, we'll see how that turns out for everybody. But I want to thank each and every one of you for stopping by. Hope you learned something good. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. That's always important. And I hope that you're uh, going to be uh, doing well in the future. Uh, I will see you next time. And thank you very much.